Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus 8, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen on this device. So as you can see, the device in front of me is locked, and well, without the proper account along with the password for it, I can't really get past it. So to bypass this, we're gonna go straight back to the first page, and before I begin, I will mention that you do need to be connected to Wi-Fi, which you can see right here I am. Um, so once you are, let's progress to by choosing a different language. Uh, now, the language that you choose doesn't really matter as long as it has a different uh, keyboard. So basically Russian, Greek, all those languages will work. Uh, as you can see, Greek, uh, as an example, has a different language uh, or different keyboard uh, for it. So just go through it. Sure, I don't want that, no. Um, and what you want to do is progress through it to it till, till we get to the right here to the verification. So you want to tap on the field and hold your spacebar. This will bring up several options. Now you want to number one change to QWERTY so we can actually type in QWERTY. Um, and then tap on the last option right here. Tap on the little button on the bottom and then choose any option with an arrow. So we go and go to help and feedback, which is this second option there. And then in the search bar right here, you want to type in Morse code or MOR seems to do the trick. So you can see use Morse code. There we go. Tap on it. Tap on a video. Add three dots and go to watch later. And this will bring up Chrome. So let's just accept. Uh, we don't want to log in. So tap right here. And then in the bar, search bar, you want to search for hard reset that info. And tap on the three bars right here and go into the download category. And in the download search field, you want to search for Apex uh, Launcher. Or you can just type in Apex. And there we go, Apex Launcher. So download that. Scroll down and tap on download once more. There we go. Uh, tap on the right side. This is always the side that you confirm with. Let's see, is it downloading? So I actually downloaded. Wise finish. Okay, so it looks like uh, uh, this device also has the problem of uh, not finishing the download. So, as you can see, it still allows you to pause it. It's basically all there uh, for uh, 0.7 megabytes uh, out of 4.7, but it won't let you launch it because it has never finished downloading. So, if that's the case as well for you, uh, you can go back here and instead of tapping on it, hold the option and go into open an incognito. So it's the second option right here. When you do that, let's just confirm this and bam, it downloaded. So let's open it up. Now we need to allow Chrome to be able to op open this up so it can install. So let's just tap on settings, which is the one on the right side. Check this on, allow from the source and then go back and install, which is again on the right side. And once it installs, you want to open it up, which again is on the right side. Okay, and okay. And there we go. So we're now in the Apex launcher. So first things first, let's change the language back to English. So let's go into the settings right here. And let's, I guess, search for a language. I assume it's gonna be smart enough to, yep, there we go, additional languages. So even if, though it's in a different language, it allows you to search in your desired language. So there we go. I just started typing uh, LAN for language and additional language. Tap on here. And, gonna, nope. How do I add additional language here? Nope. Okay, so let's try that differently. 
because it seems to not be doing that. Uh, I assume it's gonna be in the settings. Yep, there it is. So let, let me go back so you can get a brief overview of how I'm doing this. So I'm going to the settings, which is again, the gear icon right here. Scroll all the way down to uh, system and settings or well, information about whatever it is, the GI uh, for information icon in a circle. It's the second last option. Wait. No, actually, my bad, it wasn't this one, it was the settings uh, or system, uh, system right here, the gear icon again, uh, so you can see it right here. So gear icon, and then it's the second option with the globe right here, and you can see right that at the top we have Greek, so let's tap on that, so the first option as you can see, uh, tap on it and then tap on the plus so we can add additional language, and let's choose English, region, whatever, doesn't really matter. And then once you add it, I'm gonna drag it over on top, and bam, now we're in English. So, from here, let's go back to the first page. Now, make sure you don't overshoot it. Uh, if you go back too many times, you will basically, to get back here, you will need to reinstall the app. Um, and once you reinstall it, you again go to open it up. So you kind of trace back the, the steps that, that we did to get in here in the first place. Um, so, from here, let's open up our browser again, and no thanks. And in the field right here, let's go to Downloads, Search, and this time around, we're looking for, what was it? Let me just quickly check. Um, so it was FRP Bypass Android 6. So let's just type that in, FRP Bypass. Android 6, and there we go. So FRP Bypass Android 6 GAM. Tap on download, again, let's scroll down. And just to be safe, I'm gonna go into incognito instantly. So hold the option, open an incognito tab. Okay, download it, open it up. Install. And tap on done. And here, let's go back. And again, go back once more. And this time around, in the search bar, you want to search for Android 8. Android 8, like so. Tap on download. Actually, close this, let's go into incognito again. And once this is done downloading, let's open it up install and this time open this up let's continue okay and from here you want to tap on bypass frp to choose browser sign in tap on through that browser sign in again okay and in here you can use any kind of account that you have you can either create one right here although i would advise you to do it on a computer it's going to be easier and faster um or you can use your existing one, which that's what I'm gonna do. So let me just log in with my and let's go next. And I'm gonna put in a password. And let's sign in. And it goes straight back to the app, but doesn't matter. So what you wanna do now, hold power key restart and let's wait for the phone to power back on I just tap agree, agree, cool, no thanks. And what we should see now is the page that was previously telling us that uh, we need to verify the account should now show that account has been added and there we go. It provides the account that I literally added right before the restart of the device. So we can now just progress through it like it's nobody's business and finish the setup. So let's just finish that up fairly quickly. 
Now at this moment, it doesn't really matter what you set, set up. You want to basically skip through most of it um, and uh, get access to the home screen as quick as possible just so we can do the reset of the device. Uh, now the reset is actually a crucial part of this. It will remove the account that we have added along with the account that was previously blocking us, uh, basically fully unlocking the device. So let's just wait a moment for this to finish. So now we're on the home screen. So let's go into the settings. Scroll all the way down to, I assume it's gonna be system. Reset options. And then erase all data, factor reset. Um, erase internal storage, yep. And basically let's stop and delete all data, confirm it delete all data and let the phone basically unlock itself. So once this is done, we should be back in the setup screen. So I'll see you once that is visible on the screen. And as you can see, now the process is finished. So once again, we're gonna go to the setup process of the device. But this time around, you can do it as however you like. So every part of the phone works normally now. And you can connect to Wi-Fi or you can skip it, which was previously not an option, as I can do, I will do right now. Now once more, I'm kind of going through a quick setup so I don't waste too much time here. Um, but you can just add whatever you want, your Google accounts, your uh, fingerprints and all that stuff. It, it will all work normally. Just go through this so I don't have to go to the tutorial. There we go. And you can see that we're now in the home screen with the device fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.